Studentersangforening was established in 1910 and is Trondheim's largest male choir. It counts 80 members, of which about 40 participate here today. The Master of Ceremony, Christian Fossen, will now shortly pass the podium to Rector on the book. Dear new doctors, dear guests, and uh, dear all of you following us live on the stream here in Norway and around the world. Welcome to this doctoral awards ceremony here in this beautiful ceremony hall in the main building of the university. Every year we confer with great pride doctoral degrees to our candidates. The nice songs we just heard were sung by Trondheim's Studentersangforening, students from our university, and they conducted Jonas Kjelsen. 
During the procession, we heard Gaudiamus Igitur. It means, let's all be joyful. And what could be more appropriate on a happy occasion like this? Then we heard, det er så fagert i Finnerslottet and Schenkar Sveinen. And we will hear more from the choir again at the end of this sermon. The sermon will be held both in Norwegian and English, the two academic languages of our university. And you will be able to watch the sermon again afterwards. The course is not only directly streamed, it's also recorded. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor and joy for me to introduce to you our dear rector, Anne Borg. Rector, please. Dear new doctors, honorary doctor, professor, Vishanti Sripal, honored guests, dear colleagues and friends, congratulations. Today, we are celebrating the creation of 193 new doctors at NTNU, who finished their or defended their degree during the period July to December 2018. And we have about 80 of you here today. You will soon receive your doctoral diplomas, a tangible proof of your accomplishment, the highest academic degree available. There's no shortcuts to a doctorate. It's about ambition, it's about hard work, it's about setting a goal and keeping that goal in sight. It has been common knowledge in these halls for more than a century. If you look over the entrance, for to the library, you will see this wisdom from 1910, etched in the stone. Per aspra ad astra, through adversity to the stars. It's also about striving for quality. Quality is essential in all research, whether it's basic or applied, whatever area, and no matter who does it. The demand for quality must and should be absolute. In NTNU's main strategy, knowledge for a better world, the most ambitious goal of all is that by 2025, all our departments have academic groups proven to be at high international level in at least one or their core areas. This is ambitious as well as crucial, as we aim to be outstanding by international standards. This also requires us throughout the university to seek collaboration with other leading knowledge communities in the world. Five years ago, in 2014, Maybrit Moser and Edward Moser from NTNU were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. They have, over the years, achieved extraordinary academic breakthroughs and built the internationally leading Cowley Institute for Systems Neuroscience. So how did they do that? Well, among their many notable qualities, in addition to their scientific curiosity, 
is their ability and strong dedication to collaborate with the very best peers and colleagues throughout the world. International collaboration is a major tool for improving quality, developing talent, and creating outstanding research environments. It's also about recognition and visibility. In this context, mobility is important. Every doctoral candidate at NTNU should be part of an international research community. And while working on your doctorate, you have already drawn inspiration from international research in your field. And I'm sure that many of you have collaborated in, with international colleagues and spent valuable time at universities abroad. And I will strongly encourage you to further develop an international network in the years to come. Because knowledge knows no boundaries, nor should we. International collaboration is also key to solving the major challenges in the world. Climate change, pollution, migration, hunger, conflicts and terrorism. All global challenges which will require research-based solutions and combined efforts across international borders. The UN has approved 17 sustainability targets to which we at NTNU are committed. A commitment we take most seriously. Sustainability is both a target and a guideline in our overall priorities. Again, you have now achieved the highest academic degree available. And no matter what subject, the knowledge you have acquired and conveyed to society will make a difference. Like Jimita Toraskal, Jimita, there you are. Uh, Jimita's PhD work focused on understanding breast cancer metastasis. In her thesis, she reported a novel form of protein that increased the ability of breast cancer cells to spread in the body. I guess we do not want them. She is currently working as a scientist at PubGen AS in Oslo, where she analyzes medical data from patients and provides doctors with additional scientific information to support their clinical decisions. Another good example here today is Kine Baril Nurheim. Kine, there is Kine. Kine had supervisors from three departments and two faculties, both from Trondheim and Olesund, a truly interdisciplinary supervisor team. Her thesis is about building innovation capacity in and between companies in industrial clusters in Norway. The studies aim to strengthen knowledge on how to increase innovation capacity and strategic robustness in companies. Two very different examples from our university. And I, of course, would have liked to mention each and one of you, but that would take the rest of the day, at least, I think. So I therefore let Jimita and Kine represent all the valuable knowledge sitting in this room today. The doctoral degree award ceremony is the final chapter of your education at NTNU. 
That does not mean that your ties to NTNU are cut from today. On the contrary, we consider you to be our ambassadors and an important part of our national and international network. And above all, you are ambassadors for knowledge. Knowledge deserves the best ambassadors it can get. And I trust you to be the best knowledge ambassadors ever. And I trust you to use your knowledge to make a difference, to make knowledge for a better world. Thank you. and then the Quarante of the German Austrian composer Paul Heuer. And we can look forward to hearing more from them later. Here at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, we have a long tradition of conferring honorary doctoral degrees to outstanding academics who have made valuable contributions to our university. Now I will ask Professor Irina Kik, Head of Department of Social Work at NTNU, to step forward to present the honorary doctorate. in social work at Antenu, but cooperation between you and our department started more than a decade ago. You have been a true inspiration to both colleagues and students, 
through the years, and recently you have played a central role in the development of the new course, Global Ethics and Human Rights, at NTNU. Human rights are the heart of the UN Sustainability Development Goals. Your work shows how social workers play a key role in achieving the goals, in working towards community and environmental sustainability and giving the most vulnerable a voice. You always push forward. Your passion for social work is strong. Your heart is light and open, inspiring those around you. You have unique ability to relate the local to the global and to make us all feel part of something much bigger. We are proud to have you as an honorary doctor and we look forward to continuing our collaboration for knowledge for the better world and knowledge for the better society. Congratulations and thank you. And now I call upon Rector Anne Borg. And I call upon Vishanti Supal. I present you the diploma and the ring as visible insignias of your honorary doctor's degree at NTNU. I also transfer to you the Jus Josendi, which grants you the right to lecture at our university. I wish you success. Please. And this Good. Friends and colleagues, my sincere appreciation to NTNU for this honor. I truly feel privileged to be awarded this degree. But today is not about me. As your rector said, it's all about you. You've worked exceptionally hard to achieve what you have achieved. So today is a celebration of years of hard work that you've put in. It's also a celebration of family and friends that I know over the years must have made huge sacrifices for you to achieve what you have achieved uh, today. Now, I wish I could tell you that the slog is over. <laughs> you bet, unfortunately, no. With a PhD comes enormous responsibilities. And those responsibilities need to be filled with dignity, with humility, and with integrity. It's a tall order. And you're going to be called upon to do a great deal as you go uh, along. And again, our rector, Anne Borg, has alluded to it, you know, the, the importance of systems thinking. Systems thinking has come to permeate almost every academic discipline across the globe and every practice. And it's largely been attributed to the organismic biologist von Belantofi in the 30s and 40s. But interestingly, even he acknowledged that the idea of systems is not new. The Buddha, 2,500 years ago, used the concept of interdependent co-rising, in which he talked about how everything in nature is interconnected. No phenomena can be understood in isolation. I asked for one leaf, but I was fortunate enough to get seven, okay? What he asked is that when we see a single leaf, we'll be able to see 
the entire universe in the sleeve. If you can see in the sleeve the moon and the stars and the sun and the cloud and the rain, the soil that gives root, the seed, and the hands that plant, you realize that everything is interdependent. And when we realize the interdependence of the universe, we become a little bit more compassionate towards ourselves, our fellow human beings, and the whole universe around us. Now, I know that uh, we have to lead, and you're going to be, as I said, asked to lead with humility. All of us cannot be a Nelson Mandela, OK? We cannot be, perhaps, a Martin Luther King or Mother Teresa. But I sincerely believe that each one of us has fragments of all these great leaders and that we can make a difference. We can make a difference in both small ways and big, although I do believe that no act is ever too small. So as you go along, you know, with the pressures of academia, you've heard some of that already. We're living in an exceptionally neoliberal world, and every university around us is working towards world rankings and ratings. And you're going to be asked to fulfill the goals of academia. And it's wonderful opportunities for interdisciplinarity as you go along. So I just want to say, as you fulfill your life's purpose, I wish you well. Go there, make a difference. Congratulations to Antinous News Honorary Doctor, Professor Vishanti Supol, from the School of Applied Human Sciences at the University of KwaZulu Natal. Now, the string quartet Ensemble Occasion is preparing to play for us.
an Islamic occasion is dedicated to strengthen the position of chamber music among the new generations. For this purpose, they are planning several concerts and projects throughout 2020 using untraditional arenas. Ja, igen fick vi höra studenter, musikstudenter från NTNU. Denna gången fick vi höra ensemble och kasium strykekvartetten. De spelade Por una cabeza. Det är komponerat av den argentinske tangokomponisten Carlos Gardel. Då har vi kommit fram till selve höjdpunkten i denna ceremonin. Nämli där vi ska kreera våra nya doktorer och till att tala till dem, alltså till dere, så ska jag få introducera vår prorektor för nyskapning, Toril Nagelhus Härnes. Kära nya doktorer. Idag är en stolt dag både för dere och NTNU. Gratulerar. En doktorgrad från NTNU är ingen lätt uppgave. Det är hårt arbete, krävande och någon gång väldigt frustrerande. Du skiftar stadig fokus mellan målet långt där framme och utfordringen här och nu som må löses. Denna ceremonin markerar att det nu har genomfört den högste utbildningen man kan få vid ett universitet. Och utbildning är av hög värde oavhängigt av land och världsdelar. Arbetsgivare från offentlig och privat sektor har flera gånger understrekat nyttevärdien av den genomföringskraften som man tillägnar sig och kom i mål med ett doktorgradsprojekt. Och fördelen med den särägna kompetensen som man tillägnar sig med att lösa komplexa problem eller utvecklingsuppgåva. Idag är målet äntligen nådd. Och jag hoppas att docker har glömt förtvivlsen som många av docker har känt på underveis. Idag är det tid för att känna på stoltheten. Det har det gjort det för kände. Så nyt ögonblicket och nyt tanken på alla möjligheter som väntar på docker. Jag har lust att benytta anledningen att hälsa till alla docker andra som är med doktorandan här idag. Familjemedlemmar och vänner som tar del i den här markeringen. Många av docker har bidragit på andra måter till doktorgraden och det är viktigt för många. Så vill jag tacka alla övriga vetenskapliga ansatte vid NTNU som har bidragit i samarbete och vägledning. Och inte minst alla partnerarna i näringsliv och offentlig sektor och i akademia både nationalt och internationalt. Detta partnerskap är det avgörande för både hög kvalitet och relevans i doktorgradsarbete. And finally, I will switch to English because many of you are from outside Norway. Dear all new doctors, many of you will either move back to your home country or build your career in some international environment, and that is good. But remember, international collaboration is of key importance for any country, and thus international collaboration is of utmost significance to NTNU. 
Therefore, wherever you go, the bond between you and Antenu is lifelong. So please use our alumni network or you, your scientific colleagues at NTNU to stay in touch. We will be proud to collaborate with you in the future. NTNU have, as you know, a vision, knowledge for a better world. That is a vision easy to carry. And I will encourage you to keep it close as a value through your career. So, congratulations everyone, and best of luck with your future endeavors. We now proceed to the awarding of the diplomas to the new doctors. Ja, dere tippet det kanskje. Det var gode gamle Johan Sebastian Bach. Og vi hørte igjen NTNU Brass. Og det de spilte het avsmittende tøne, det er muntern trompeten. Altså både smektende og muntere toner. Nå vil jeg be alle dere nye doktorer om å komme opp for å motta det synlige bevis på den grad som dere har oppnådd her ved universitetet. Og jeg vil be dere komme opp rad for rad, og så vil jeg be alle andre at vi venter med å klappe til alle grupper, eller hver gruppe har fått sine diplomer. Doktor Nadim Ahmad. Doktor Samar Issa Albargotti. Doktor Sigur Mørkve Albrechtsen. Doktor Trond Andresen. Doktor Ivana Anusic.
NTNU has many international PhD candidates, representing approximately 60 countries in all. Dr. Katarzyna Anna Baranowska. Dr. Elin Bergene. Dr. Are Bertheusen. Dr. Robert Bock. Dr. Jostein Brobak. group, you can see a candidate wearing a traditional Norwegian costume, a so-called bunad. Dr. Lars Eirik Bø. Dr. Gaston Kortad. Dr. Tien Jiao Dai. Dr. Aida Dikic. Dr. Christina Andreves. Dr. Trine Tetli Aiknes. Dr. Yiming Feng. In 2018, 43% of all PhDs who graduated from our university were women. Dr. Daniel Buner Formo. Dr. Syed Hamed Fouladi. Dr. Mahdi Ghanem. Dr. Fredrik Grøvdal. Dr. Kashif Habib. Dr. Lars Ivar Hagfors. Approximately 60% of the PhD degrees completed in 2018 were technological degrees. Dr. Per Ivar Helgesen. Dr. Jan Tore Horn. Dr. Hans Husby.
Dr. Satyaraj Kandhasami, Dr. Babak Khoda Bandalu, Antenu has a diverse group of students and employees, representing more than 90 countries. Dr. Pyongwa Kim. Dr. Shilpa Kumari. Dr. Constance Kölle. Dr. Marianne Baudouin-Li. Dr. Tone Schetteli Lövik. Dr. Jan Ma. Dr. Stian Madsen. The Norwegian University of Science and Technology was established in 1910 the same year as the completion of this building that contains the assembly hall where today's celebration takes place. Dr. Astrid Martinsen. Dr. Johannes Foss Sigursson. Dr. Marshed Mohamed. Dr. Anastasia Moldovska. Dr. Ian Myri. Dr. Kristi Ushant Navaratnam. A total of 397 PhD degrees were awarded from NTNU in 2018. Dr. Neda Nejati Moharami. Dr. Torstein Nesse. Dr. Kine Beril Norheim. Dr. Saudia Pastore. Dr. Douglas Tendai Piri. The aim 
aim of a PhD education is to enable the candidate to conduct research at a high international level. We are very proud to count these new doctors among the Antenu alumni. Dr. Carlis Riexs. Dr. Joost Ruwald. Dr. Lisa Milgor Sagberg. Dr. Hanna Sargenius. Dr. Thomas Sauder. Dr. Igao Shen. Dr. Eliane Skau. Antenu has 42,000 students spread across three cities in Norway, here in Trondheim and also in Jøvik, two hours north of Oslo, and Ålesund, on the southwest coast of Trondheim. Dr. Elis Meplas. Dr. Didrik René Småbråten. Dr. Brage Dahl Snartland. Dr. Fredrik Svalestuen. Dr. Sindre Rabben Svedal. Dr. Elisabeth Svindal. Dr. Sverre Georg Sæter. Dr. Ellen Tadajon. Dr. Arne Talset. Dr. Abinash Tivari. Dr. Jimita Toraskar. Dr. Paul Vange. Dr. Rasha Wahid.
Dr. Andreas Westin. Dr. Venting Schu. Dr. Juntao Jan. Dr. Yun Jang. Dr. Marius Altern Øvrehus. Og Dr. Signe Elisabeth Åsberg. You are all hereby promoted to doctors at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology and are thereby granted just to send the, or the right to lecture at NTNU. I also declare all the other doctors not present today to be promoted in absentia. The new doctors have now received the diplomas from the Director for Innovation, Toril Nagelhus Hannes. We will once again enjoy the music of Ensemble Occasion, this time in the company of a flute.
Efter en dröm eller après un rêve av Gabriel Fauré blev framfört av disse flotte musikerne fra Ensemble Occasion. Og jeg er helt sikker på at vi kommer til å høre mye mer fra disse musikerne i årene som kommer. Kjære nye doktorer, kjære venner, familie og gjester, vi er nå kommet fram til slutten av denne ceremonien. Snart skal vi feire videre med mat og drikke, og det skal vi gjøre etter at det er ryddet litt her nede og tatt et fellesbilde av alle dere flotte nye doktorer. Men nå vil jeg be dere alle igjen reise dere for den akademiske prosesjonen. Den vil eskorteres ut under tonene av studentsong, komponert av den svenske prinsen Gustav, også kalt Sangerprinsen. Og her nok en gang framført av Trondheims studentersangforening. Maestro! Maestro!